What is going on, everybody? For those who don't know, I go by BOSG, and this is another Sixers post game video. If you guys are new to this channel and love talking Philly sports nearly every single day, go down below and hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and make sure you turn on the notification bell wherever it is on both sides of your screen so you guys are instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. Now, last night, the Philadelphia 76ers defeated the Charlotte Hornets their second time by a final score. Of 118 to 101, the Philadelphia 76ers now move up to 6-1 and one on the season and are in first place in the Eastern Conference. Man, what a performance by this Philadelphia 76ers team. They have been really good under head coach Doc Rivers. They have been making really smart decisions. They need to work on their defense a little bit and a little bit of their shooting accuracy. But apart from that, I think we're good. Now, I'm repping the right shirt from the one who gave it to me. Shout out to Philly Take with RB for giving me this shirt. I won it in his recent giveaway. I'll put the link into the description in case if you guys didn't see it so you guys can go check it out. So, anyway, right into the video. So, the Sixers and the Hornets went head-to-head. -head. The Hornets made it a little bit tougher for the Philadelphia 76ers to try to score points and put points on the board. But that did not stop Doc Rivers and this whole Philadelphia 76ers team from scoring points and putting those points on the board. So with all that being said, let's get into some Sixers and Hornets stats. So we're going to start with the Charlotte Hornets on the list. Number one for the Charlotte Hornet, Hornets based on shooting. You have Gordon Hayward. Hayward had 18 points. 8 rebounds, and 2 assists, as well as a steal and a block each. A very well played game by Gordon Hayward, considering that he was the leading scorer on the Charlotte Hornets. He was 11, 20, 11 for 23 in his overall shooting, which is a 48%, so not a great performance, but not one of the worst performances that I've seen. But, and my overall grade for Gordon Hayward, since... He was, I believe, a former Celtic and moved to the Hornets and got traded there and had a steal and a block each, as well as eight rebounds with 18 points. I moved his grade up to a 73%, which is a D+. Next, you have Devontae Graham, who had 15 points, two rebounds, one assist. A very well-played game for Devontae Graham. And he had no steals and no blocks, unfortunately, if you are a Charlotte Hornets fan on the channel. He went 10 for 24 in his overall shooting, which is a 42%, so not too good for Devontae Graham. But even though he had 15 points, I can't give him a lot of credit because he had no steals and no blocks and only had two rebounds and one assist. So I brought his grade up a little bit. I brought it up to a 46%, but that is still an F on a grade for Devontae Graham. Third on the Hornets, P.J. Washington. As this was a tie for third place for, in between P.J. Washington and Terry Rozier. But I chose P.J. Washington because he had more rebounds and assists and, in my opinion, did a lot better than Terry Rozier. So anyway, P.J. Washington. 12 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. A very good game played by P.J. Washington. Had no steals and no blocks. Went 8 for 17 in his overall shooting, <clears throat> which is a 47%. But my overall grade, once again, similar to Devontae Graham, I cannot give P.J. Washington as much credit as I would give to Gordon Hayward. But I brought his grade up to a little bit, but he's still going to be an F, so I gave him a 51% overall based on the way he shot for the Charlotte Hornets. Next, we go to the Sixers' top three shooters. Number one on the top three shooters. Do we really need to guess on who was the number one shooter for the Philadelphia 76ers? Tobias Harris. 22 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. A very well-played game. Considering that Tobias Harris managed to play better than Joel Embiid. Because jo Joel is normally the one who leads the team in scoring. But Tobias Harris has it this time. He went 12 for 21 in his overall shooting. Which is a 57%. But in my opinion, 
my overall grade for Tobias, since he, for the first time, was able to be over Joel Embiid, he might have had a second time where he was over Joel Embiid based on points. But for the first post game I did for this one, Tobias Harris has more points and did better than Joel Embiid. So his overall shooting was a 57%, but my overall grade, I bumped it up to an 82%, which is a C-plus for Tobias Harris. Next, Joel Embiid. Of course, you got to include the 7-foot, 280-pound center, who had 14 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, with 2 steals and 3 blocks. A good game played by Joel Embiid. Not one of his best, but not one of his worst games that I've seen. He went 10 for 21 in his overall shooting, which is a 48%. Not too good for Joel, but not his best, but not his worst, like I said. But my overall grade, since Joel always seems to make the top three every time, but is mainly the number one scoring man on the Sixers roster, but now is number two just after the Hornets game, I gave him a 70%. If he was number one, I would have probably given him a 75, 80 plus percent. But just because Joel Embiid was second in points, but had a lot of rebounds and assists. And even with two steals and three blocks, I'm still going to give Joel a 70%. He put up a good effort against the Charlotte Hornets, but it was not enough to take first place. And finally, for the first time and possibly the only time that I might say this, but... Surprisingly, Danny Green made the top three. Yes, Danny Green made the top three with 13 points, six rebounds, three assists, a steal, but no blocks. A surprisingly well-played game by Danny Green, who everyone really hates on for a lot of reasons, but you Danny Green haters better be quiet because Danny Green just shot the world last night. And really played a very well played game for the Philadelphia 76ers. He went 8 for 18 overall in his shooting. Which is a 44%. But my overall grade for Danny Green. Despite the fact that he was in the top 3 in my opinion for the first time. And possibly the only time this entire season that this will happen. I'm giving him a 69%. Not quite a D or a passing grade. As I would say. But 69% is around... Probably the right grade that someone would give Danny Green, like Doc Rivers. And Daryl Morey really made the move for him as Danny Green balled out last night with Joel Embiid and Tobias Harris and really just got in the top three. And Tobias Harris is starting to get better what Doc is doing when it comes to Doc Rivers coaching everyone. So I'm really glad that Danny Green is actually paying attention and really getting out at the right time and scoring with Ben Simmons, Tyrese Maxey, Joel Embiid, Tobias Harris, Seth Curry, all these guys that you have on the floor, Danny Green will score with, 100%. And the Sixers took this one, 6-1 and one, as of now, and are in first place in the Eastern Conference, and are your Eastern Conference first placers as... The Sixers have absolutely taken over the Eastern Conference and are ahead of teams especially such as the Boston Celtics, the Milwaukee Bucks, and some other teams like that, the Brooklyn Nets, and teams like that. So, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and the notification bell to see more videos like this. And let me doubt down in the comments section what you thought about last night's game. How do you feel about Danny Green finally making the top three based on points being scored? Let me know in the comments section below. And let me know what you guys thought of last night's game. And Sixers Nation, baby. Philly Unite. Everyone stand up. Anyway, guys. See you next time. Peace out.